Happy Dragon Day! <laughs> it's Robin here. Thanks for joining me for your daily spirit message reading for Wednesday, April 24th. Okay, so I, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to start shuffling the deck. And I just had a song come to me prior to like getting ready to do the reading. Uh, does anybody know this song? It's called Clementine. Um, it's like, oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling, Clementine. Okay, so I'm getting somebody coming through for one of you out there. They probably really liked that song or they made fun of it. <laughs> but it, it figured maybe they were always humming it or singing it. Uh, you do have a message coming in from somebody that has crossed to the other side. So, and something else I just want to say quickly is that if you have a departed loved one and you're looking for them to come through... You know, sometimes you have to look to the music and the songs that you're hearing and other signs, okay? If you're not a psychic channel or anything like that, if you're not really receptive. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups here. Really interesting image. Okay, so the Four of Cups. I see that you are feeding into somebody else's... I'm getting the word frenzy. Okay, it's like you're adding some sort of fuel to the fire. I'm going to write down your video title. Hold on. So you could be in some way, maybe either voluntarily or uh, unwittingly providing somebody with information that they wouldn't otherwise have if it wasn't for you. <laughs> so, I mean, and I think that's happened to all of us, but this could be particularly not cool. Oh, geez, I have a massive plane coming by. So just I'm going to pull another card and hope it doesn't drown me out. Um, we have the eight of water. So it feels like you're going to have a change of heart about this person. And maybe you're just trying to give them some information so that they'll leave you alone. This is very interesting. Does this person know something about you that you could consider detrimental if it got into the wrong hands or you'd just be really embarrassed, you know, if if it was spoken about? Um, <clears throat> because the Eight of Cups is like that energy where, no, you kind of want to stay around. There's a reason for that. and It's all tied to you emotionally. You kind of want to move on. So this might be the perfect opportunity to own whatever is going on or really just stop being victimized by somebody. You know, this is this is not cool when people do that. We have the 10 of wands, okay? So this is the this is like the international symbol of tarot to let that burden down okay so whatever is going on over here i'm getting a really strong sense that this is going to be somebody that is coming to you for this information and they could be plying you with you know hey let's go for a dinner and then they pump you with questions or maybe there's some you know <laughs> thrown in there as well and you know what they say loose lips sink ships okay so anyway i was saying this is probably somebody with a combination of water and fire in their in their chart. Okay, so um, that is going to be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius combined with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, and I'm going to just go out on a limb and say that the fire sign is in their moon. Okay, so I think this is going to be really specific. And you probably know already, like if somebody's always buying you little gifts or um could even be your boss right giving you special treatment or giving you a b bigger raise than you deserve as long as you play informant okay and that's just really uncomfortable and awkward and it does feel like what i said before is they have something over you okay so we have the four of coins so is this time to really just withdraw from that type of tactic and be a little bit more protective of your Okay, this is what my guides are saying. The repercussions of continuing on with giving somebody side information. It could just even be angel number 444. Um, like what it could be considered to be harmless gossip. But somebody behind you could overhear you. So the repercussions of gossiping 
could be far more damaging to whatever it is that you're trying to keep secret from you know your parents or your partner or something like that so it's time to just really put a lid on that and you know come back against that uh fire sign water sign combo and so, like i'm not your huckleberry anymore <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go and i'll see you guys tomorrow good luck bye oh i'm still here hold on